All right, trying to move through these questions. Mr. White, uh, this question's from Lakeisha Brown. Mr. White, what is your least verbiage for tenants being abusive towards you and your staff? Um, so we don't actually have any verbiage in our lease uh, relating to tenants being abusive to us. Um, basically, that wouldn't be, so I'm not an attorney, I'm not licensed or equipped to give legal advice. Uh, but that said, my impression is, is that it really want to be enforceable. Uh, now, even though it's something's not enforceable, doesn't mean you shouldn't still put it into your lease, which is a contract. Uh, if it's going to deter behavior uh, or might potentially deter behavior, in this case, an abusive tenant, certainly go ahead and put it in there. Whether it's going to stand up in court is another story. Uh, but um, if you feel more comfortable, put something in there. I, I can't, I don't know what kind of a what kind of verbiage you would actually put in there. Um, so the reason why we don't have it is that we really don't actually have these problems with tenants. We, you know, we're a company, we're a property management company, and we are always striving to operate intellectually, not really emotionally. So if a tenant, uh, and we certainly do have unhappy tenants, they'll ask us something, something that we cannot give them. Uh, we will have to turn them down, and it's not uncommon for a tenant to continue contacting us repeatedly uh, until they get the answer they want, which of course never comes because we can't give them what they're asking for. Uh, but it doesn't really emotionally affect us. We kind of are stepped, uh, uh, we're a step back. And I think that's the value of using a property management company is we're not emotionally involved in the properties. And in fact, my wife and I have our rental properties are being managed by the company I own, Grow Property Management. And what that does for us is same thing, it steps us out of it. So we actually don't make emotional decisions involving our rental properties. Instead, every decision is really made intellectually uh, by Grow Property Management. The contractors that service these properties have no idea uh, which properties we own and which ones are just uh, part of our, our, our large portfolio of properties. Um, again, it just steps us away so we're not getting emotionally involved. We're not running friendships here. So if a tenant gets snipey with us, uh, I mean, we're kind of just answering their question, saying, no, I'm sorry, this is not something we can provide you. Um, we'll give them a reason why. Uh, they'll often respond, still lobbying to get whatever it is they want. We might repeat that a time or two. But again, it's kind of just passionate on our, on our side. We're really not getting emotionally too upset. And if they were pretty snipey with us, uh, I, I think we would just start reducing conversation with them. Uh, you know, we do actually have verbiage on our application policies so you're not allowed to be abusive to our staff uh, and it actually has to be really defined because we have to treat every tenant identically in every prospective tenant identically so if we're going to turn you down it has to be it, it has to be universal we can't just turn you down because you're rubbing me the wrong way and then somebody else will say similar things uh, at least on paper and will accept that person that's not the way uh, it works that's not in line with fair housing laws uh, so we actually do have very defined uh, criteria. You're not allowed to swear to our staff. I think it's three times. It just doesn't come up. But you're not allowed to use profanity. And we actually have, these are in our, our, our company policies. They're not even posted. But we have in our company policies that, that could be, the state can come in and look at these policies and they can actually see that we are uniform, that you cannot use profanity. And we actually define those words uh, in that. Uh, the words that you can't use with our staff. And then if you do, we're, we're gonna turn you down as a potential tenant. Uh, but um, as far as dealing with tenants, no, we actually don't have any verbiage in our lease. Um, I could see value in it. It's just not something I think that my company needs. Uh, you know, I recommend you just become a little bit more disassociated with your, with your properties and uh, just try to view it as intellectual and not so emotional when, when a tenant speaks.